Hi everyone and welcome back to New Egg TV. My name is Paul and today we're going to be taking a closer look at this Hitachi DeskStar 3TB internal hard drive. I've already had a chance to run a few benchmarks on the drive, so we're going to be doing a quick overview and then I'm going to speak a little bit more specifically on some of the factors you need to take into account if you're working with hard drives that are larger than 2 terabytes in size. I've already actually opened up this drive and, uh, as mentioned, ran a few benchmarks on it, but I went ahead and repackaged it so I can show you guys what comes in the box. There's the drive itself. Actually, there's just about everything. Uh, they do include a four mounting screws for the drive if you're going to be mounting it directly to the drive cage. Here's the Desk Star quick installation guide. And here we have a more in depth guide as well as warranty information. Now, the drive itself comes protected, of course, as most hard drives do when they come in retail packaging. Uh, it does come with a moisture barrier bag that is already opened by me. I've already uh, installed and ran the drive a little bit, but that is pretty much what you get. This is a 3.5 inch internal hard drive. It spins, the uh, platters inside spin at 7200 RPM. Uh, you'll notice a lot of uh, mechanical hard drives will either go for 5400 or 7200 RPMs. That's pretty much standard. Some go as high as 10,000. Uh, 7200 drives uh, generally will make a little bit more noise, but they do have uh, much better speed as far as uh, read and write times and uh, access in general. And uh, that is just about it, apart from the bottom of the drive you can see here. There is your serial ATA power uh, cable connector and your serial ATA data cable connector. You're just going to run cables from your power supply to that one, and from your motherboard you run a data cable over to this and then you're pretty much good to go. That being said, this is a three terabyte hard drive. And you may notice that up until about four or five months ago, three terabyte hard drives were really nowhere to be found on the market. That's not because there's a physical issue with creating hard drives of this capacity. It has a lot more to do with the partition table that has been in use since about the early 80s. That's called MBR, which is master boot record. And essentially, it has a cap of two binary terabytes, which means that once you hit two terabytes in the partition table, it cannot partition the hard drive to access more space than that. The replacement for MBR is called GPT, which is a GUID partition table, and without digging too far into the acronyms, essentially it will allow you to set up a partition table on the drive that allows you to access all of the space. Uh, a partition table is set up when the drive is first plugged into your system and it initializes. Once you've chosen which partition table you want to use, then you move on to actually formatting the drive, and that is uh, basically using the NTFS system that Windows uh, in general will use, or other file systems if you're using other operating systems. So, uh, there's one other aspect to 3 terabyte hard drives, and that is the ability to actually set this drive up as a boot drive and load an operating system onto it. This drive in particular is actually meant to be a storage drive, specifically on the box. It is telling us that this is, oops, I knew I had it on there just a second ago. Uh, this hard drive does not support RAID configurations and cannot be used as a boot drive. So for now, we're going to give you a quick walkthrough on how to set this drive up uh, as an additional storage drive on a computer that you already have. And when you plug a brand new, unpartitioned, unformatted hard drive into your computer, you might not see anything happen at first. Uh, if you're using Windows Vista or Windows 7, you can go into your computer management, and I usually do that by right-clicking on my computer and going to Manage. Uh, you will need to be logged in as an admin in order to do this. Next up, if the drive is working correctly, you should have a pop-up that indicates that you have a new piece of hardware connected that needs to be initialized. And initializing here is where you will choose between MBR and GPT. Since this is a 3 terabyte hard drive, as mentioned, we must go with GPT if we want to actually address all three terabytes of space. Um, here we can see that we're specifying the volume size. We want to use all the space available. And then from there, we can move on to formatting with the NTFS file system. Uh, if all you're doing is setting this up as a storage drive, that's essentially all you will need to do in order to get it formatted up and running. Also, with a 3 terabyte hard drive, if it's brand new, you can go with a quick format, and that will be much, 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 much faster than doing a full format, which can take a pretty long time using a 3 terabyte drive. That's pretty much all we did for today. Um, now, as mentioned, if you actually want to install an operating system onto a 3 terabyte drive and boot from it, you'll need to make sure that you have a newer motherboard with, a UEFI, with UEFI instead of the BIOS, and you will want to make sure that you're using Windows 7. 
Um, but beyond that, let's actually take a look at a few of the benchmark numbers that we got with this 3 terabyte hard drive. It performed quite admirably. So we ran the drive through Crystal Dismark. This is 3.01 version. And uh, here on the left, you can see our results for the Hitachi Death Star 3 terabyte. And here on the right, our benchmark results for the 640 gigabyte Western Digital Caviar Black. And that is the storage drive that we already have installed in our test bed over here. Uh, you can see the sequential read and write performance right here for the uh, Desk Star is quite impressive. Uh, 161, 160 megabytes per second, respectively, for reads and writes, which is pretty impressive. Uh, we, we haven't seen desktop mechanical hard drives uh, hit those numbers up until just recently. Um, below that, you can see some other tests that are run. This, is a, the, this test will do random reads and writes uh, accessing 512K blocks. This does essentially the same thing accessing 4K blocks. And down here at the bottom, we can see 4K blocks, and this is Q-Depth 32. This last test is really only applicable to if you have the drive installed and you're running in a server environment. Most desktop systems won't actually get up anything beyond Q-Depth 1 or 2. Um, <clears throat> down here in the 4K section, we can see where you actually lose a lot of performance as compared to some SSDs. Uh, the reason the numbers drop down so much is these are randomly accessing different data points across the surface of the disks or of the uh, platters on the hard drive. And really what's hurting it there is access times. The drive head actually has to physically move over the platter to access that data. That takes up some time and that's why you see the numbers here for throughput drop down so much when you're going into the random reads and writes section. Uh, that being said, still solid numbers for this drive across the board. Definitely very functional and capable as a storage drive to add to your computer that you already have up and running. Again, this is meant to be add-on storage, not meant to be a bootable operating system drive, but for that purpose, it will work just fine for you, particularly if you keep this defragmented, so you, you will get more towards these sequential read and write numbers than you would with the randoms. Defragmenting, make sure that all your data is in line, uh, on the hard drive. So if it's going and reading off to boot a program or to load a movie, for example, it'll be able to access that information a lot more quickly. That pretty much wraps it up for our overview, review, unboxing, uh, GPT tutorial uh, for the Hitachi Desk Star 3 terabyte internal 7200 RPM hard drive. My name is Paul. Thanks a lot for watching today's video, everyone, and we'll see you next time on Newegg TV.